I once sold my wife's car, but told her it was stolen. <laughs> Lee, what do you think? Uh, when was this? It was about six years ago. Well, quite recently. <laughs> oh, recently, yes, It's not yes. like in the early days when you were hard up for cash. No, just... no, 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 no. I was um, in a bit of strife with some gambling debts and, uh, <laughs> and I could only do it by stealing the car <laughs> and flogging it. I got three Sorry, and a half... the, the studio for, for Jeremy Kyle's just next door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I got three and a half grand for it. And how did you, how did you explain it to your wife? I told her it was stolen. I said, it was outside, love. I don't know what's happened. To... Where's your car? <laughs> <laughs> you said bloody one ball for sake, <laughs> anything. <laughs> Does your wife know now? Uh, no. So she will now when she watches this show? <laughs> she will be the first... I won't let her watch this. Why, have you, have you told the telly? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the telly? Stone and glasses. I shall make sure when this is transmitted that um, we're out of the house. Uh, right, definitely, but, yes. I, the way you're going with your gambling, you might not have a house. <laughs> no, I, I don't gamble anymore, you see. I mean, that taught me a lesson. That was it. That was it. Off. Finished. Yeah. yeah. But we're trying to decide whether the esteemed actor and voiceover artist Bernard Cribbins is actually a gambler, a liar, and a borderline crook, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> it is so not it... illegal to no. lie to your wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to say, Lee? Is Bernard Cribbins telling the truth with this bizarre tale of his wife and the car? OK, what are we saying? A, a lie. A lie. It's a, a lie. A lie. And what are you saying, Mark? Yeah, I think it's a lie, cos the alternative is that Cribbins has got a very dark past. <laughs> we need it to be a lie, Bernard. <laughs> so, Bernard, truth or lie? I am telling... <gasps> oh, it was a lie. Yes. Bernard did not sell his wife's car and then tell her it was stolen. Uh, Bernard and his wife have developed an understanding over the years. He doesn't sell her cars and she doesn't mention Carry On Columbus. <laughs> it is David. Possession. Ah, no. Oh. Behind your chair is a box. Open the box, <clears throat> read oh. the card, yeah. and then take out the possession. It's a yeah. beautiful oh, box. I, need to... yeah. Yeah. I like okay. it. Yeah. Uh, this is entertainment. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is my cape. <laughs> <laughs> I used to put it on, pretend I was Doctor Who, and head into my TARDIS. Or, as my parents called it, the airing cupboard. <laughs> put the cape on. All right. It is. Come, feel free, David. Come and use the floor space. Right. Think back to your dancing days. Come out and use the floor. <laughs> I, you could have a glamorous assistant in the form of Miranda. Oh, Miranda, certainly. would you help Maybe. David get into his cape? Hang on. Uh, uh, Can we doing... put this over there? Um, that's what I'm thinking. Hold it in place. There again. That fits. Yeah. That actually fits you really well. Were you exactly the same size as a child? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't see you properly, David. Could you come and stand in front of me and twirl around? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, you just... Lovely. Yes, that's... that's that actually... is a much and how old... reminder of the How old were you? Yeah. What was this? Um, I think... <laughs> I actually... <laughs> <laughs> this is how I picture you walking around your house now. <laughs> how yeah. old was I? <laughs> 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 I think at the time I was first given this cape, uh, I was, I think I was about, um, maybe ten? Ten? In that cape? Maybe nine. Yeah. It was too big for me initially. Right. Hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> when you were nine, so to give us an idea of the height, to go down, just go give us knees and we'll see how much it would, it would have dragged. So that, that would have been you mm -hmm. as... Hang on, it's rock. your shoes for a second. Rocking. Can I take this off? What are you doing? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you just you that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, yeah, yeah. How you might have looked in yeah, those days. Yeah. <laughs> this is how the police do sort of ageing yeah. profiling. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What would he have looked like a few years you ago? Just get yourself on. Hang on. Oh. This one. This one's going to be... There we go. Be... <laughs> Did you say your mum and dad got you this cake? Uh, yeah, my mum made it. Your mum made it? Yeah. But Even though she it's... made it for you, had she no idea what size it should be? <laughs> Were you a close I... family, David? <laughs> Why is he getting cramp in my knee? <laughs> you can go back to your, to your oh, seat. Yeah, yeah. I give right. you permission. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look like a very middle-class disgruntled Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get any 
be blood tonight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just shrug back to my chair and bite some virgin's neck tomorrow, I suppose. <laughs> So what do you think, Lee? Is it the truth or is it a lie? I think... What do you think, Barry? Not a shred of truth. You don't think? I think it could be true. It sounds incredibly likely. In fact, I'd be surprised... <laughs> I'd be surprised if this is a habit that's actually finished. I imagine he's... Yeah. <laughs> so Barry says a lie. I'm the odd one out here, aren't I? You say true. I think... I hope it's true. I think well, it's lovely. I, I think it's lovely as well, so I'll, think, I'll say it's true. You're going to say true. All right. David, truth or lie? Uh, it is, uh, of course, true. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's true. David used to wear his cape and pretend he was Dr. Who. <clears throat> I have finally given up cheering because every time I did it, people always said I sounded sarcastic. <laughs> David's team. Ah, so, in what context would you cheer previously? At football games? Yeah. Who do you support, Chris? I support Manchester United. Well, you so probably I... were cheering sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> Must sound really sarcastic to punch through as sarcastic in the context of lots of other people cheering, particularly in a stadium. There's sort of 40,000 people cheering and then everyone turns around and says, he's being sarcastic. <laughs> to me, it isn't sarcastic. I've been told, not by 40,000 people, I've been told by one particular individual... Oh, was it QPR, was it? <laughs> 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 um. So, let's imagine you're watching Manchester United and Georgie Best is... <laughs> is Sorry, let's bring it right up to date. Paul Scholes is streaking. <laughs> he scores a goal, and you go... Hooray! <laughs> that cheer definitely might not be 100% sincere sounding. What would a sincere cheer sound like? What? Well, I don't know. I mean, I... <laughs> yay! Yay! Yes! Yeah. Yes! Come on, boys! Come on! <laughs> Yes, yes, come on, boys, come on. Well, better than his. <laughs> now, David, you're at Millwall. You're with your mates. <laughs> it's 1-1 till the 89th minute, and then your boys score a goal. Yeah. It means everything, and you go... What I uh, try to infuse that with <laughs> is a little bit of rage. Yeah. yeah well, that... <laughs> because I think, I think that's the thing that underlying a lot of football supporting is the rage that this thing that they're into doesn't matter at all. <laughs> the, rage, the rage is the issue. I ah. was with my children yeah. and I was surrounded by that primal scream kind of reaction. <laughs> and I muted it and a guy turned round and said, you're not really a red, what are you doing in this end? Call that a cheer, and my kids heard it. Oh. And I said, I'm doing it because I don't want them to see me going, yes, come on! <laughs> <laughs> now, that's Ooh, a lot better. The power, the power. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You see, Rob, you're wrong when you rang me. He is a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say to the guy who said you were sarcastic? I tried to reason with him, and then he said, Oh, Doctor Who off the telly, <laughs> who do you think you are? You've been doing both shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, guys, what do you make of this? I do believe that that was a very sarcastic cheer, and somebody might have thought it was a bit weird. But you're a big lad. Yeah. And I wouldn't mess with you like that if I didn't know you. So I think, I think lie. Yeah. What do you yeah, think? I think? I think it's a lie. OK, well, my team thinks it's a lie. OK, you're saying it's a lie. Chris, was it true or was it a lie? It was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Chris hasn't given up cheering because he sounds sarcastic. <laughs> how come he's here tonight? How, how, how has that come about? Gloria did a show called The Masked Singer yes. a while ago yeah. with a white head on or something. Yes. I was Snow Leopard, just for the record. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and he texted me the instant and said it's Gloria Honeyford. <laughs> wow. Oh, there you go, wow. see? And within a week of that, I was asked to come on this show because David Tennant turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven years ago, I did a very bad thing in the kitchen. The time has finally come to confess all to my wife. 
David's too kind. Um, what, what did you do? Uh, I broke a pot, a cooking pot that uh, you, you, you bake chickens in. You roast chickens in. <laughs> what? Okay. Chicken what, pot! What, what, what was so special about the chicken pot? Good question, Greg. Thank you. Any ideas? <laughs> Was it a wedding present? It wasn't a wedding present, no. It was, it was terracotta yeah. uh, and, and it's got a lid on it. Heavy. Yeah, it's pretty deep, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it genuinely is. It's about that deep, isn't yeah. it? And, and you put the thing, you put the lid on, and the thing about these terracotta pots uh, is you're not supposed to wash them. The pot absorbs the flavour over the years. I had about an hour before she was coming home. Uh, and I knew she would not be happy about this, so I raced to the local kitchen shop and fortunately got the exact same pot. And how many to, years? I had an hour, well, about half an hour to age it. How many uh, years had the previous oh, one been aging? Oh, seven years. So you had to do seven years worth of casseroling. Yeah. In, in, <laughs> in half an hour. In half an hour. No, I um, I had to make it look like it was weathered. How yeah. did you do that? First of all, I put a bit of soil on it. Uh, then I put marmite on. Uh, and then baked it very quickly on a high heat and then scraped the marmite off. Uh, then I, uh, I got sandpaper, a bit of sandpaper on it. Yeah, yeah. All Just this in the half an hour. Unbelievable speed. Uh, before she got home. When she arrived home, did she suspect anything? Well, I was with another woman in bed, but apart from that... <laughs> How did you break it? Well, I was fixing something with a screwdriver and I got in a bad mood and I threw the screwdriver down. You threw a screwdriver so hard that it shattered an ancient cooking pot. Didn't shatter it. it Crack. And it's not ancient, but the word pot was correct in that Did sense. Did you say <laughs> I threw it down, it bounced, and it just chipped it a bit, but it was enough to make my wife... She would have noticed that chip. <laughs> so... You said... Just let me have a drink and have a think about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even married. feel that a seven-year-old cooking pot uh -huh. had so much sentimental value for your wife that it was worth all this trouble? Oh, did I not mention her grandmother's ashes inside? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's quite relevant. Sorry, I forgot that. Yeah. Did, did you also burn another old lady? <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's time to decide. Um, <laughs> I, Victoria? I have met Lee's wife. She's an extremely sophisticated and nuanced woman with many interests. I don't think she'll whoa, whoa, be whoa, so... Whoa. What do you mean, many interests? What do you know that I don't? <laughs> <laughs> I what do you can't say? believe that a seven-year-old pot would loom so large that you would feel unable to That's tell That's because her. when you come round to my house and you're with my wife and we're having dinner, she's pleasant and she's nice. <laughs> She's lovely. She's calm. And the second we wave you off... Uh, bye! See, this has been lovely. Close that door. She goes, you embarrass me again! <laughs> With your TV friends! <laughs> that posh one with the beard kept staring at me! <laughs> and I didn't like her husband, either. <laughs> I've got a couple of extra questions. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what? You say it wasn't cracked, it was just chipped? It was... It was... Uh, was it usable? Um, yes, it was definitely usable. You would be able to say, I'm really sorry I've chipped it, but the thing that you so love about it, all this accumulated flavour, is still there. It's not affected not by all a tiny there, chip. There's a tiny bit missing. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, apparently, all the flavour comes be... from the sweet spot. And that's what had gone. Where, where was I remember it? as it chipped off, I went, smelt the pot, nothing. I took this little piece <laughs> of it. <laughs> wow. Even though the functionality of the pot is unaffected, you thought she'd be so furious at superficial damage to it. Not superficial. It, it is superficial. No, it isn't superficial. I haven't told you the size of the chip, have I? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, you just simu you simulated it. You yes. went like yeah. that. Yeah, but you don't know how I'm holding it. I'm holding it at the edge of the... <laughs> Of it. it goes round here. <laughs> oh, I'm holding it, you see. All right, um, David, it's time to get a grip and make a decision. So, sorry, so you, the, the, the flight <laughs> of the screwdriver... Can I just... just the, the pot? 
was ruined, David. That's all you need to know. Well, well yeah, but it's when ruined. you said... Let it go, David! Yes. Do you know what? I wish I'd have taken my chances with my wife at the time. <laughs> this is unbearable! <laughs> right. It is time to decide. <laughs> Second question. <laughs> no, no, no. What did you do with the damaged pot? I, I hid it to begin with, and then over the next couple of days, when she wasn't looking, I slowly <laughs> moved it towards the door. I, slowly, <laughs> I moved it very slowly. Because she only notices things when they move. Yes. <laughs> She's Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> she, she would be sat there with a glass of water watching the television, I would come down with a step and she'd see the water shimmer <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh, David, <laughs> it's time to decide. Yeah. Yeah. Was Lee telling the truth? <sighs> well, what, what do you think? I think it's a lie. What do you think? It can't be true. I think it might be true, but I'm not going to overrule my team. We'll go lie. Lee, were you telling the truth or were you telling the lie? I'm sorry, my dear. It's true. <gasps> <gasps> I once stripped naked, then accidentally climbed into bed with my father-in-law. <laughs> Please, T. Were you drunk? Yes. Was it his bed or was it his, a spare bed in your house? It was our bedroom in our house, and they'd been babysitting. And so I noticed another presence in the bed, which I assumed to be my wife. Yeah. And well, so lovely thing to say about your wife. Well, <laughs> sorry, love, it's just that you look like, you know, you're dead. It was dark. <laughs> it was dark. She'd gone to bed before me and she said, hey, what, watching telly, you know. What, what were you watching just out oh, of interest? Remember. I can't remember that. What time was it? Four o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock in the morning, probably repeats of this on day. <laughs> <laughs> so they, this is your bed. Where were you then? Were on sofas downstairs? No, where we were, were in the spare room. So the, oh, that's lovely. You've given yeah. up your superior bed. Yes. For the in-laws. Yeah. Lee, what do you do when your in-laws come round? I make up a really lovely, lovely bed with uh, lovely silk sheets and a lovely thing and put that in the shed. <laughs> 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 so you, you, you've, you've come into bed, you yeah. think that your, your wife, she's gone ahead of you. I, I thought she'd be spark out. You spark know. out in the bed. Yeah, yeah, and I've often done this journey in the dark, so she's often in bed before me. Yes, And yes. I know what to do. I'm, I can do it in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Whip the clothes off, round the side of the bed, leap in, give her a, a snuggle. Oh, did you, did, you, <laughs> did, you give her, did you give her a snuggle? I went to give did you? her a snuggle. Oh, no, you? naked. <laughs> naked. Which way, which way was he facing? <laughs> Thank God he was back in hey? the other way. I spooned him. You huh? spooned him? <laughs> Like, like, that makes it better. I think it's worse. I think you'd have to have done it both ways to know which is worse. <laughs> That's true. Were you spooning in the way you spoon when you want to have a cuddle as you go to sleep, or were you spooning in a way which was hoping to just nudge her awake? <laughs> <laughs> luckily... There's a subtle difference between those two. I know two. that's all the difference. <laughs> but luckily, I wasn't quite that excited yet. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> no! Oh, my word. It's quick, though. I mean, honestly, I mean, I whip it back, the whip the thing back. <laughs> I jump in, I, jump in I, go, I go for the spoon. <laughs> and as, as I'm sort of approaching the body in the bed, um, I hear John. And I, I literally flew out the bed. Ah! And, um, and then the lamp went on, and um, I'm trying to put my underpants back on. Oh, you're completely naked. naked? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the whole thing, I'm trying to get my underpants twisted, fell over. It was like a comic. It was ridiculous. Why, oh. would you, um, why would you go to the effort of trying to put your underpants on in front of them? <laughs> because I was naked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you wouldn't do it in front of them. This is right. Just it's grab them and leave. That's the sort of strategic decision you make when you're used to doing that. <laughs> 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 easily think I, I both want to leave and dress myself and make the mistake of trying to do the two things at once. Yeah. <laughs> and what would what happened in terms of the father-in-law? He, he was very, very lovely about it. And he went, uh, one too many last night? And I went, yeah. And that was it. What are you thinking? Is it striking you as true? That's definitely possible. I believe he has issues with alcohol. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm going through. You're saying through? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. 
I will go with my team and blame them. And say, say it's true. <laughs> OK. John, were you telling us the truth or were you telling us a lie? It is, in fact, sadly, true. Oh, <laughs> well Yes, it's true. John did climb into bed naked with his father-in-law. I once caused an injury to one man whilst trying to get a different man to say the word vegetables. <laughs> Please, team. Right, just the word vegetables. Yeah. Do you what? really like the word vegetables? Um, no, not as a general rule, no, okay. but I liked it when this man said it. Why? <laughs> What was it about this man, the way he said vegetables, that was funny? Did he have a speech impediment? Or... No, no, he didn't. He was a very intense man, though, and he was also Austrian. I was with a friend once, and he's a, he was a colleague of ours, sorry, and I overheard him say vegetables, and we both found it incredibly funny. Um, so, can you just roughly give us a, an impression of how he used to say vegetables? Is it even just he, said, he said it exactly like this. Yeah. Oh, vegetables! <laughs> And then we happened to be on a coach trip with him, and so we spent the whole coach trip <laughs> trying to get him to say vegetables again. Right, so again. where were you? Where were you going and how did uh, you know I was him? on a school trip. I used to be a teacher, so we and were... And he, a... a... he was a teacher? Yeah, he was a teacher. What did he, he teach? He was the head of languages and he was... Head of languages? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the head of languages used to go... The vegetables! <laughs> vegetables! <laughs> imagine, imagine I'm the man. OK, I'm on the coach, I'm, I'm sat, we're, we're driving... Off you go. Um, so I said, so, um... Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> You're very big, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like him at all. <laughs> You're very big, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> <That's it. laughs> so I was saying things like, oh, I've, I've been trying to um, keep fit lately, and I know that you're into keep fit. It, you know, would you recommend for a healthy diet? And he was going, well, you know, I would... Uh, you must eat a balanced diet, you must eat greens, and uh, <laughs> you, you must enjoy some protein in, in limited... I was going, yeah, yeah, but, I mean... <laughs> if you were to group some of those foods together... <laughs> and he was going, well, I mean, yeah, you must have carbohydrates, of course, oh, and you must have... Yeah. And it was, it was horrific. It went on for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> And every time I tried to find a new angle for vegetables, his ludicrous Austrian interpretation of things led us down a dark alley. It, it was literally an hour in the making. And how did you finally get him to say it? Um, I, I honestly can't remember. It came out of nowhere and he suddenly said it, and he said it with such passion. It was... He, he went, Oh, well, of course you must have vegetables! <laughs> I, I started biting my hand to stop myself from laughing. <laughs> and my... <laughs> and my friend who was next to me, there was a, there was a jagged piece of metal at the front of the coach, and because it was so funny, just to remind you, you imagine the bottom, of course! <laughs> I mean, I mean, and my friend saw the piece of metal and pushed his knee into it on purpose <laughs> to stop himself from laughing. <laughs> and blood started, like, spraying out of his... <laughs> Started spraying out of his knee, yeah. And that is, this is getting laughed at this story. <laughs> and I'll tell you another detail. We went and did the trip, which was in Paris, and then after we came all the way back, <laughs> all the way back to, to um, Calais, and I said to him, um, you know, we put all the kids' passports in that hotel in Paris last night. Did you, um, did you remember to, because he was in charge of the trip, did you remember to bring those? And he, he, he was standing up in front of the children on the coach and he went, oh, Scheiße! <laughs> <laughs> and we had to speak to the port authorities <laughs> and get permission to take the kids on without passports while he went back on his own. <laughs> Can I tell you one more detail as well? We were also standing in the middle of Paris under the Eiffel Tower. We'd been there for an hour and the kids were all running around. And he came over and went, we must, we must go, we are late for our next appointment. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, we should just make sure that all the kids are here. And he goes, yes, of course we should, yes. And he turned around <laughs> and went, is everybody here? <laughs> <laughs> and all the kids went, yeah, yeah. And he went, well, well then, we will move on. The <laughs> <laughs> <It is> vegetables! <laughs> what are you thinking, Lee? Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's true. True from John. Yeah, death, but, yeah. I think lie. You are a fantastic actor, Mr. Greg Davis. Well, so, so what are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what do we think, Alex? I think you'll find I'm BAFTA okay. nominated. <laughs> <laughs> We're all BAFTA nominated. <laughs> <laughs> False. Uh, okay, we'll go with lie. You're going to say it's a lie, Greg. No. Truth no. or lie? It is the truth. Oh! <laughs> that yes, that was all true. As a child, I had so many imaginary friends, we formed an imaginary gang. <laughs> right. Right. Did, they, did the gang have a name? <clears throat> yes, the gang were called the Guy Buys. The what? <laughs> the Guy Buys? They were called the Guy Buys. How are you spelling that? I never had cause to spell it. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know... If you had to spell it now, how would you spell G it? G-Y <laughs> hyphen <laughs> by B-B-I-E-S. How many were, were in the gang? There were, there were quite a few. There were 12. <laughs> the same number as apostles. Well, <laughs> it, does, and you... it does occur to me that this was a harmless little messiah complex. Right. <laughs> so did you appoint yourself head of the imaginary... Yeah, I was basically gang. Jesus. <laughs> Do you still keep in touch with the rest of the gang? <laughs> they, they, were, they were imaginary friends, so they sort of disappeared as soon as I stopped thinking about them. <laughs> what, uh, did you have names for the guy buys? They, I think I, used, I borrowed names from people I knew at school and my brother. They were like Mark and Andrew and all the apostles. <laughs> oh, <okay>. no. um, <laughs> uh, they were, uh, yeah, and Chris. Judas. <laughs> Chris, Chris isn't. Chris the and obviously Judas Iscariot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you have a, a favourite guy by? <laughs> Chris was good. <laughs> Did you have a rival gang, the guy by? Was there a feud or anything like that? Well, there was always the... Our, our main enemy was the Joker, um, which I think, <laughs> I think I borrowed Chess's... from Batman. <laughs> what would he do, the Joker? Oh, just, you know, rob banks and stuff, and, and we would, um, you know, we'd chase him on our bike. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I mean, they were very good at getting on the back of the bike. Yeah. You were like a, a red a cross display team, weren't you? They <laughs> were. So I sort of imagine them sort of diagonally stacked. <laughs> Did you all sleep in one bed? Oh, I, they weren't really. I mean, they, into this, it. This is pretty. <laughs> as much as I encourage the gay boys, to, the guy boys. <laughs> They were very much a pre-sexual phenomenon. Have we, have we established it why they were actually called the guy buys? No, it's just the sort of sound that children make. Well, that this child made. <laughs> well, he, see, the thing is, guy buys sounds like baby talk. You know, it might be like just some words that you formulated. Because, but, mm. but, but you also were aware of Marvel comic enemies at that Batman age. Batman wasn't a Marvel character. Batman wasn't Marvel. No, no. but Marvel, Spider-Man, Captain America, the Hulk. Superman was action comics. I hate him when he does that Stephen Fry thing, don't you? <laughs> All that knowledge. All that knowledge. Um, <laughs> an answer is what we need, so... Are you... Go now. Just a minute. Are what? you doing me again? I'm, I'm flirting round the edges of you, Terry. <laughs> I'm not careful, I'll set fire to you. Right. Um, what are you going to say then? What are you, truth, truth or lie? Sounds plausible. Young guy, read a few comics, read the Bible, melted the two in his head and formed the guy bite. Wow. It's so, like having Inspector Frost in the studio right. with us. <laughs> um, what about you, Katie? Which way are you leaning? Well, I think he clearly has a wonderful imagination. That's clear. Mm. So I think, yes, it's true. OK. I will say it's true. You're going to say true? OK. Robert Webb, truth or lie? It is a... True thing. <laughs> yes, it was all true. Uh, when Robert was a child, he did form an imaginary gang from his many imaginary friends. You know, it may seem odd, but loads of people have tons of imaginary friends. It's called being on Facebook. <laughs> OK. 
I was once driven to A&E in an ice cream van. In place of a siren, the driver turned on the musical chimes. <laughs> What happened to you that involved having to go to A and E? Well, I was um, I was playing um, rounders, and <laughs> I ran in between bases, and I sort of went over on my ankle, and it was in Cornwall. Your ankle? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far out of place it went. Blimey! <laughs> so I was in. I mean, real proper agony, like. Honestly, I thought I was going to black out. It hurt so much. And um, somebody phoned an ambulance. And it probably was about 25 minutes. Um, and still no sign. This bloke came over from the ice cream van. And um, he said, I'll, do, I'll take you to the hospital. So they're trying to dial the emergency service. Perhaps instead of dialing no, 999, dial. press 99. <laughs> <laughs> So you've gone over on your ankle, yeah. and the ice cream man has seen you from a distance, hasn't well, we it? didn't have a car. We all got the train down, so no one had a car with them. Right. So this bloke said, I'll give you... And I was just... The idea of getting to somewhere where they could just give me a painkilling injection would have been lovely. And presumably you didn't get the siren going straight away? No, it, it wasn't the siren. It was, it was green sleeves. Well, green sleeves, but... <laughs> Did you want to give him some money for a lost trade? Oh, no. <laughs> John, when you've been a celebrity a bit longer, you'll realise that money's no longer relevant. <laughs> <laughs> Where back in Cornwall were you? I was in Truro. I don't understand why you would put the siren on. I he, think he, I said... I did mention to him that I liked um, music from the Tudor period. <laughs> I also don't understand why you were in Truro, because if you didn't drive, you would have got the fast service to Penzance. <laughs> well, the holiday was a combination of rail travel and taxis and a little bit of ice cream. Great bag. Bags. <laughs> so, time for a decision. What do we think? Sorry. I'm not happy with I... it. You're not happy with it? Not happy with it. You're not having it. Oh, I think it's true. I don't want to become Trevor Travel Planner, but if... <laughs> I mean, a rounders kit is something you throw in the boot of a car. You don't take it on a train. OK, so you're saying it's true. I think it's true. John thinks it's a lie. Yeah. We'll say it's a lie, then. You're going to say it's a lie? OK, Frank, truth or lie? It is a lie. Yes, it's a lie. Frank wasn't driven to A&E in an ice cream van. In fact, accidents involving ice cream vans are incredibly rare, yet always result in the tragic loss of hundreds and thousands. <laughs> um, right. OK. I have vomited in Cliff Richard's hedge. <laughs> <laughs> was it his front hedge or his back hedge? Lee, please, please, Lee. It was the hedge inside of Wendy House. the pavement. The front Where boundary. is this house? Uh, I think it was Surrey. You I think, think it was Surrey? You? No, I, I was very, very young at the time. This kind of explains the vomiting. How old are you? I think I was about five or six. How did you know it was Cliff Richard's house? Yeah. Because I He came was... out and said, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had been taken to see this house because it was Cliff Richards' house. Well, oh, you were taken as, like, a day out? Yeah, because I was a big fan right. at the time. <laughs> <laughs> was it a revulsion or something you had eaten? Uh, car sickness. Car sickness? Yeah. What was the plan when you were getting there? It was a, it was a drive-by, Just almost. Him. What you... <laughs> a drive-by puking. <laughs> Okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Vomit. Presumably there was a lot of other vomit in the head. <laughs> it was sort of probably matted with the vomit of admirers. Probably. Was, was Cliff in the house going, oh, 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 oh? <laughs> what's, what's, I'm doing, I'm doing Cliff Richard. <laughs> Very important. You never want to say the phrase, I'm doing Cliff Richard. <laughs> <laughs> never say that. <laughs> Especially if you're doing that with your hands. <laughs> uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm doing Cliff Richard. I'm doing Cliff Richard. <laughs> 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 Stop! Such 
fun. <laughs> did you just say such fun? Yes, I did. <laughs> So, what do we think, Lee? OK, well, shall we say true, Nick? I think so. It's a dismal little yeah. story. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Can I just say, you really should have your own chat show. Give me a moment. <laughs> yeah. So, Lee, you are saying that it's true, yeah? We'll say it's true. You're going to say it's true. OK, Rebecca Front, is it true or is it a lie? It is true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rebecca did once vomit in Cliff Richard's hedge. Uh, Cliff, on the other hand, has never been made to feel nauseous by a bush of any kind. <laughs> and uh, we'd like to thank our lawyers for the wording on that one. I once prevented a burglar from breaking into my house by hiding behind the door and barking like two different dogs... <laughs> ..at him. David's team. First up... Please do the two different dogs that you did. <laughs> and say what the dogs were. OK, well, I, I, <laughs> I doubt that Xander, in, in his state of panic, went, first I'll do a Yorkshire Terrier, <laughs> then I'll do a... No, not an Airedale, no. a Retriever. I, I, can't is... do a, I can't do a Retriever. <laughs> I can't do a Retriever, I've tried. No, I, what I tried to do... <laughs> the, the effect I was going for was of scratching paint and going... <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to give an illusion of was weight. Weight and snuffling. So, um, I went for... Wait, I went for... Hum, 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 oh, hum. Has anyone got oh, Scooby oh, Snail? <laughs> and dog oh, two, hmm. the different dog. <laughs> Maybe a smaller dog, the mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> one was my... One was this. No, the other one... I, I'm just worried about this, but it was... Go. What? <laughs> Did this frighten Isn't the this, burglar? You... Did he run off? Did he break into the house, Chris? No. You're crouching down behind a door... Oh, yes. ..and a burglar is also coming through the door. Well, what was happening was the burglar was busy... ..was, was at the door trying to force his way in by shoulder barging. The door mm. wasn't open, but he was... Uh, he was trying to break the jam. So, so this was at night? And is your bed yes, right by your is, is your bed right by your front door? No, it's not. My my bed is in my bedroom. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I thought because that's the last place. So you place thought, hello, look. somebody's shoulder barging the it, front it, door. Somebody, I was woken up by thunk, thunk, on the door, and I was just thinking, what what do I do? So did you hear? He was barging away. Boom. But yeah. then you were then suddenly snuffling Just away at the other side of the door. Yeah. And I... then he what and then what he paused, did he? He paused. And then and then he went away. I think it weirded him out. Why didn't you do the noise of a scurry dog? It sounded like a hamster. <laughs> this is a very big hamster. That would sound that's that would scary, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually hamster. very scary. But don't you have a burglar alarm, Xander? I never set a burglar alarm. Not on national no. television. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> OK, David, what are you going to say? Truth well, or lie? What do you think, Chris? I think it's so daft that it's so daft. And it's such a ridiculous vision. I think it's almost certainly true. Mal? I'm the yin to your yang. Are you really? I'm saying it's a lie, a big yeah. fat one. <sighs> I want you to override me again, David. No, I'm, I... <laughs> <laughs> I want you to override me. I'm sorry, if I do that, if I do that again, it won't be special. <laughs> I just don't think a burglar would try and shoulder barge the front door. Okay. I, I, I think a murderer might try and shoulder barge the front door. <laughs> so, therefore, your answer is? Uh, lie. Yeah. Lie. OK. Yeah. Uh, Xander, was that the oh. truth or was it, in fact, a lie? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, it is, in fact, a lie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, it's a lie. Uh, Zander didn't prevent a burglar from breaking into his house by barking like two different dogs. I mean, of course, it's a lie when burglars break into Zander's property, they still have to walk up the path, swim the moat and <laughs> slay the dragon before getting to the front drawbridge. Oh, right. OK. Uh, it says on my card, possession. Ah, just to the side there, there's a... <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> just, just, bring... just bring that up there. Pop that up there. And then okay. read the statement before you do anything else. OK. This is Jakob. <laughs> I don't remember those yoghurt <laughs> drinks making that noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
OK. Must be live yoghurt. <laughs> This is Jacob. I once smuggled her into the cinema, then had to pretend the noises she was making were coming from me. <laughs> OK, now perhaps you could, you could unveil, take the, 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 the yes. sheet off. Oh. Oh, I love cats. <laughs> right, um, please, team. Why on earth would you take Jacob into... Jacob. Hang on. Yacob. 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 Yacob, yes. Yacob. It's spelt... <laughs> Into it's spelt a cinema. Jacob, but pronounced Yacob. OK. <laughs> I was on tour, yeah. and the bird uh, was on tour with me mm -hmm. in the hotel room, and um, we wanted to go to the cinema, so... Uh, my wife Hang on, and whoa, I... whoa, whoa, stop me there. Why was the bird on tour with you? Yeah, good well, question. Well, because um, we, we didn't have anyone to look after him. We, she's on we, tour. Um, That's a bird with a man's name, then, is it? Oh, sorry, is it a she or a he, the bird? It's a she. But right. why is we've he called Jacob? Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but... Yeah, Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> well, no, there was a little bit of a... There was a bit of confusion with the... Uh, sexing. The sexing yeah. I first. had that with a rabbit once. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <What>? sex? <laughs> <laughs> See, well, in the cinema, Sit. we Sit. put. <laughs> in the cinema, we uh, put a, a coat over over the case. Right. And we were watching a film, and then in the middle of the film, there was some music, and she got quite into the music, so she started whistling to the music. What Maybe was the this. film? Entrapment. <laughs> That's a bit insensitive to a bird in a cage. Yeah, well, I did, we didn't think of that at the time. Is that the normal cage that he lives in? He or she lives in at home? No, or does no she live this in a is a one? travel cage. Ah. Uh, it's called a Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the bird starts singing along with the music of the film. Yes. Yeah. Right. And then, then what happens? And then, then she started to make noises, and then people started to look round, and they looked round and they heard this noise, and then. I actually just went, I went... <laughs> and made a kind of... <laughs> and then... And then she said, uh, you could black that. And then I had to say that to my wife, I went, you could black that. <laughs> and just sort of pass it off, like we were having a little conversation. Was anyone sitting next to you? Other there than your a, wife? There was a lot of people in the cinema, what yes. Did they, what did they do? What did they uh, say? They like just thing? thought we were a bit weird. So how, how long have you heard Yakov? Yeah. Yeah. Yakov? Yakov? Must be about uh, 10, 15 years now. And do you have a lot of these animals? We do, have? yes. How many animals do you We've have? We've got about, I don't know, 30 or 40 animals. 40 animals? 30 or 40 yes. animals? Really? Yeah. What like? Fish. Uh, I some. don't mean in your that's freezer. Not, I mean... Nice. Ants. <laughs> We've got loads of ants. <laughs> <laughs> We've got dogs, cat, you, uh, you got birds. A cat? We've got a cat. With the, with the bird, isn't that a problem? No, the cat doesn't stay in the house. Um, What's he doing? Going around the cinema? He goes around the cinema. <laughs> yeah, the cat's got a paper round. Uh, no. So what are you thinking, Lee? What does um, your team think? I, well, the, I mean, the obvious big clue to this is that he, he seems very close... She seems very close to Bill. See? Oh. Oh my God. I've seen oh, Bill do TV him. shows where yeah. he's working with wildlife, so I know he uh, likes right. the wildlife. There you go. So it might be so that he's possible. lying, but he knows how to handle that bird. That's what I think. Would you be so bold as to give him a kiss enough. on the lips? I could do. I want talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, then. Kiss a kiss. Give me a kiss a kiss. You're right. You're a bit shy. Oh. She's a bit shy. I don't want to stir it up, but she was all over David in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> so, Joe. I, think it's a lie. I don't lie. think he'd be that lie. irresponsible. I'm going to go lie. OK, my team say lie. You're all lie. saying it's a lie. OK, Bill, okay. was that the truth or was it a lie? It was true. <laughs> yes, it's true. Bill did smuggle his parrot into the cinema. I have developed a technique to help me deal with annoying idiots. <laughs> Lee, do you want to kick this one off? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, who, who do you find is an annoying idiot? I mean, what type of people? Just, you know, the GP. <laughs> you know, the general public wind me up from time to time. OK. And I really want to tell them how I feel. And instead of doing that, I, um, I scat. You do what? Whoops. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, uh, I scat. Can I ask at this point, what is a scat? <laughs> Do you know jazz, what a scat is? Jazz, well, it's like a jazz, yeah, jazz rap. Jazz jazz, it's your basic, yeah. it's so, your basic jazz rap. So you must make random noises. Let's can we have a scenario now? Right? Can I, is it a that's, a, that's a very negative view of music, isn't it, Lee? <laughs> yeah. well, it's jazz, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> so if I'm the doctor, yeah. what would annoy you if I was a doctor? Um, if you kept me waiting for too long, and then um, say you come into the in the reception room, and I thought I was next. Right. And I went to get up, and then you picked somebody else. Right. For okay. Well, imagine that scenario. Okay. okay. Uh, so I walk in. I'm about. You think I'm going to see? You, and I go, uh, Mr. Bryden, we've got the results of your test. And I go, Oh, for the bap ba bap ba diddle 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 Do you, do you promise me, Mike, you always do it out loud? You don't just do it in your, your mind? Always vocalise it. So Otherwise, if, it, if I don't let it out, it might turn into a, a hemorrhoid. <laughs> I must say, that explains a lot. <laughs> well, imagine now, imagine I've made you angry, OK? Perhaps he's giving you an STD. <laughs> <laughs> At least have the decency to say I've given it to him via his wife. <laughs> right now, watch him now. Go on, jazz scat him, quick. I'm going to... This is, this is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you had to employ it, Michael? Oh, I'd say... What? About two weeks ago? Yeah? What, what happened? The classic thing of the, um, you know, the tourist walking out of the, um, the department store and stopping, and I wasn't paying attention, <laughs> and I walked up and they were there in front of me, and I went, oh. why did you... <laughs> <laughs> and walked round and carried on walking. What are you thinking, Diane? Does this have the ring of truth for you? Yeah, it does. He seems really convincing. Mm. What do you think? I don't know. Why are you getting so upset in the first place? Why don't you just be like me and just really lay back? <laughs> <laughs> just get outside the department store and just stop and enjoy life. <laughs> When I've ever left a department store, I'm always sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bizarre behaviour. If well, you encountered it, you know? You can't spend your life doing that. So, what are you going to say? So, Truthful. we're going to say, you'll say true, you're going to say lie. Yep. I'm going to have to go lie, can't be true. You're going to say it's a lie. OK, Michael Smiley, was it the truth or was it a lie? Oh, ye of little faith, it is the truth. Oh. Oh. Yes, it's true. Michael does have a technique to deal with annoying idiots, and it is scatting. A possession. Ah, there'll be a box under your desk. There is. You, uh, put the object that's in the box on the desk first, and then read the card, please. This is the bottle of hand gel I used to wash my hands before I handle my main bottle of hand gel. <laughs> 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 David's team. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can see the reasoning behind that. <laughs> so, so uh, explain your process. In this day and age, you have to be very conscious of germs. And, mm. um, and I meet a lot of people and have to shake their hands, and some of them, you know... Are diseased. ..potentially a bit unsafe. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I will have a, a bottle of hand gel, cleanse my hands, then I can get the other bottle of hand gel now, that the, yeah. the outside of which... That, so the second it's bottle remains pure the whole time? Very pure. Yeah. But if you take the bottle in the hand you didn't shake yes, the yeah. person's hand with, so that hand is clean, all you need to do is just pour it on both hands, you'll have no problem. Yeah, well, you make it sound so easy. I'll <laughs> 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 tell you how all this started, and I think there is some... <laughs> sort it of started trauma. when you picked up that box and opened it. <laughs> There is some sort of trauma that I've got, and it was from a time being in a gent's toilet. Don't. Um, <laughs> and what happened was, I have trouble reaching things in the toilets, you see. And, and one occasion I went... What are you trying to reach for? Well, I... 
No wonder you need this stuff. This is how I developed. I, I, I squirted some of the cream soap on. Yeah. Right, that's <laughs> on the wall. Okay. But it was only then I realised I couldn't reach the tap. <laughs> From that moment on, I, I, I pack a couple of bottles of hand gel. How soon after meeting us, we were all here about tea time today, <laughs> weren't we? How soon after that you came in with a lovely, yeah. great to see you again, we was, everyone was shaking hands. How soon after that did you scurry away, <laughs> <laughs> reach into your pockets and furiously... <laughs> <laughs> how, how, what, what, what's the gap? Well, it's just... <laughs> It's just whenever I would get a, a quiet opportunity to. Uh... I don't think this is the truth oh. because I've had several interactions with Warwick Davis and I don't think that this is something I would have missed. He certainly didn't do it after, immediately <laughs> yeah. after. I if, he's, if he does it, he's subtle. You, you, you have to be, don't you? I mean, I can't be seen to be going, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because that's rude, yeah. isn't yeah. it, then? And it's not just... Hello, mm. it's hello. Mm. Mm. <laughs> you know how you can do it. You know, if I'm sitting at a table and I meet somebody, I can do it down here. That, that's <laughs> worse. <laughs> that's definitely worse. <laughs> OK, it's time to take a guess. Uh, what are it's, you going to say? It's a lie. It's a lie? Lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Warwick, was it the truth or was it a lie? It was... A lie. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. But that isn't the hand gel that Warwick uses before his main bottle of hand gel. Possession. Ah, right, OK. Uh, there's a box under the desk. Now, there's a card inside it. Could you read the card out first? Then, when you've read it, take the item and place it on top of the desk. Whenever I need to cry in a scene, I ask the director to hold this up behind the camera there's something about it that helps the tears to flow. OK, and then take out the object and just pop it on the desk. <laughs> <laughs> right, just, just see if you can position it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, team. What, what is that? <laughs> it's a cat. It's a but he looks puppet. a bit like he's been... Treated badly. Well, he has been treated badly because someone's <laughs> cut his back legs off. I know. <laughs> and uh, how long have you had this badly treated cat? Uh, about 20 years. Oh. Um, so um, since what? you were about seven? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was only joking. Why? Uh, <laughs> David will remember him from various scenes in Peep Show as well. Oh, this is good. Yeah. I've never seen this done before. <laughs> Dragging a teammate into a... <laughs> So he would sometimes hold the cat. So maybe mm. it wasn't the cat that made you cry. Maybe it was... <laughs> <laughs> Never thought that through. Yeah. Well, look, I wasn't on set for Broadchurch, so... <laughs> the but cat. the cat is called David, so maybe I've never made that connection before. So is David Tennant holding that up in Broadchurch? It's a director, normally, behind the camera. Right. But and why is... so look, look. I know, look. <laughs> Could I, could I have David? OK, please? just be nice. Not you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what if you two were to sort of improvise a dramatic scene? Uh. Right, you're telling David, he's playing your husband, ludicrous, that <laughs> you, 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 you've met another man and you're going to leave, but you're sad because you have six children, you're going to miss them, it's not going to be easy. Ooh. I, at a given point, okay. will pop it up <laughs> and when you... <laughs> when you... When I pop it up, <laughs> I want you to let the tears flow. OK. Whenever Rob pops it up, a woman cries. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. I, I only assume it was very insulting. It'd be something <laughs> snide. OK. Off you go. OK. <clears throat> Hello, darling. Hello, darling. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm running off with Alberto, the guitar teacher. <laughs> Alberto? What, even after I voted for Brexit? <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. If only they'd trigger Article 50 more quickly, he'd be gone by now. <laughs> I'm getting some political satire. Are <laughs> 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 you all right, darling? <laughs> yes. Sorry. I will try and keep it together. <laughs> 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 
Is it possible to look at the cat to see if it looks 20 years old? Because I think a... If you throw him to me, I'll throw him over to John. No, I'm not throwing him. Don't worry, he'll land on his feet. To be gentle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you, That's very kind. <gasps> oh, did you see that? That was a that good was catch. quite good, wasn't it? Is that what you do on spring watch? You just <laughs> pull, the, pull the blue tits out of the sky. Let's have a look at this blue tit. <laughs> <laughs> and now an owl. <laughs> He looks a bit manky. He looks, he looks really battered. manky. He looks battered. But Can I, we I smell can't... it? Go and have a sniff. <laughs> 12 yeah. years old, that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Truth or lie? Michaela? Um, I think you're way too good an actress to need something like that. So, you say it's a lie? I, th I think it's definitely. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I think I would have read it in an interview. Yeah. So you're saying it's a lie? Yes. OK. We'll say it's a lie. You say it's a lie. Olivia, was it the truth or was it a lie? It is, in fact, a lie. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Olivia doesn't ask the director to hold up a glove puppet to make her cry. For a summer, I worked at a funeral director's that offered themed funerals. What's a <clears throat> themed funeral? Give, give us an example of a theme. Well, you can have um, a medieval one. How does a medieval <laughs> funeral work? <laughs> you have it when you're 26. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, there was a king and queen. Right. Obviously. <laughs> who, who were the king and queen? The... The sort the, of the, the departed person. The nearest people to the person who's died. They dress up. Yes, yes, they oh. dress up. Oh, I see, so it's not just the dead person. Everyone's got to be no, into the no, no. So The people <laughs> alive are dressed up and the what? dead person's dead. He doesn't know. Well, you know. Because you're too upset. We've had medieval. Medieval. Could you give me three others? There was, um, a Valentine's Day massacre one. Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. True! Was what did that actually, tell us, that? actually called Valentine's Day massacre. <laughs> it's called the Blue Parrot. What? It was, well, the Blue Parrot is the name of the uh, supposed club that the, <laughs> hit, the all the, the them, people they're all believing it now. Look at that. <laughs> the St Valentine's Day massacre yeah. was an a, was a, an atrocity. Yeah. Why a Did you funeral is depressing enough? Why would you want to make it more depressing? It's not me personally. It was on the list. <laughs> it, what, what, what was beyond the pale? Like if I came and said I want a cannibal themed funeral. <laughs> There was one who came and wanted all the people to be serial killers. <laughs> but dressed as different I just realised you killers. said... Yeah. I genuinely <laughs> thought you said <laughs> cannon and ball <laughs> <laughs> said, What are you talking about? He's dead! <laughs> <laughs> he is dead! <laughs> Did you ever get a point where there was, like, another regular funeral going on at the same time and maybe they were slightly upset to look over and see people in zany It's a Knockout costumes <laughs> burning a corpse into the ground? They were, it was only ever at crematorium, it wasn't ever burials. So it was quite private. What if they said before the crematorium, um, he was a big fan of bonfire night, can you stuff it <laughs> with fireworks, Catherine wheels, the lot, and then when it goes behind the curtain... <laughs> <laughs> pin the coffin to a wall and watch it spin round as a flame single <laughs> So, Lee, what, what are you saying? Do you What's know the what? decision? I'm, just, I am so, I'm getting genuinely annoyed by this, because I know we've got to say it's a lie. Because if we say true and it's a lie, we everyone look. at home is going to be going, what? how could that yeah. possibly <laughs> be true? <laughs> and then there's a massive voice in my head going, saying this true. is true. I know exactly what you're saying. Really? Yeah, yeah there is. But I, ju I just... The St Valentine's Day... <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know it sounds ludicrous. Lee Mack, make a decision. What is it? Say common it's common sense. A, yeah, it's a lie. Let's not look stupid. All right, go on. We'll say it's a lie. <laughs> Saying it's a lie. OK, Reese. Fact or fiction? It is... ..lie. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> it is indeed a lie. Uh, Reese didn't used to work at a funeral director's that offered themed funerals. Uh, actually, I plan to put my ashes while still hot in one of those council wheelie bins. That'll show them. <laughs> As a child, my parents would only let me watch ITV if I put a blanket over my head when the adverts came on. <laughs> <laughs> David Steele. Interesting. What was the reasoning? 
Uh, first of all, I wanted the, to buy the things that were on the adverts, and I would <laughs> pester them if it was food, if it was uh, fizzy drinks, if it was toys, whatever was advertised. In those days, cigarettes, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, what age would you have been then when this was happening? Well, I'd be about sort of eight or nine. And was it just you? I mean, did, were there siblings? Yeah, there? I've got two brothers, and uh, we so were they'd all... have blankets on their heads as well. We would share. We would share <laughs> like a duvet cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, we're top um... up north. We had to share one blanket between <laughs> three of us. <laughs> when my mum used to cover our heads so we wouldn't buy out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Who would be administering the blanket? Uh, well, uh, my mum or my dad. Uh, would be, you know, the babysitter, they were told. That was babysitter? Our babysitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was one night I remember particularly, um, our cleaner was our babysitter, Mrs Williams, she was quite elderly. <laughs> she was told <laughs> by my mum <laughs> to... Um, <laughs> if, if we press number three on the remote control, uh, she had to she'd cover our eyes. <laughs> She didn't get it, so she, she came and she <laughs> held the blanket in front of the television. Oh. And this became a revolutionary new way <laughs> of not watching the television. So you had a remote control? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those... It was one of those on a wire. And the worst thing, we used to record programmes on, on a VCR and we had to fast-forward through all the adverts when we were watching. With the blanket or without the blanket? <laughs> <laughs> the, this was post-blanket times. <laughs> Bez, what do you think? Well, it's that outrageous. It's got to be true. What do you think, Motsi? I've been watching your mom the whole time and she seems just as surprised as us. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> um, Steve's mum is in the front row of the audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's not my real mum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David, what are you going to say? Do you think it's a lie? I just and, think it's a lie. Yeah, and yeah. you think it's true? I think it's true. This is what true. I call a nightmare scenario. Yeah. <laughs> I suddenly think, of course, it's absurd. <laughs> Putting a blanket <laughs> over a child's head. No, it's a lie. <laughs> OK, yeah. you're saying it's uh -oh. a lie. Um, Steve, was it the truth or was it, in fact, a lie? Well, guys, it was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Steve's parents didn't make him put a blanket over his head when the adverts came on. I was caught short in Prince Charles's garden. <laughs> what do you mean, caught short? What does that mean? Are you not familiar with that phrase? Oh. Would you like me to elaborate? Please do. Wee wee. Oh, all right. <laughs> Taking a piss. Yes. <laughs> Got you. Excellent. Why were you in Prince Charles's garden? Um, I. It was a uh, a tour. A, t a tour. <laughs> <laughs> Which garden of his? Uh, He's got at, many at, gardens. At right? Highgrove. At Highgrove. The garden yes. at Highgrove. Yes. <laughs> and you were... What, what sort of tour? Why I mean, do, could I look in the yellow pages? Highgrove has Prince tours. Prince Charles's garden High, tours. Highgrove has, <laughs> Highgrove has tours. Oh, right, so it's open to the public? Yeah, you have to write and be invited. You have to... <laughs> write and... Oh, anyone you, have to, you have to send off for an invitation. <laughs> well, anyone from the public can write. Dear Charlie, any yes, chance yeah. of a piss in your garden? <laughs> <laughs> Does he know, Prince Charles, that you did this? I'm assuming that he might know about it. You assume right. that a random uh... tourist pissing in his garden, <laughs> that's going to get back to his garden. <laughs> I'd actually set the alarm off. What did he say? <laughs> Are you, you're just bragging now, aren't you? <laughs> probably weed through a laser beam. <laughs> is there any medical reason why you can't anticipate me doing <laughs> I mean, is that what we're dealing with here? <laughs> yeah, I'm incontinent. <laughs> David, we're going to have to rush you for a decision here. Right. Well, I'm just, that's a bit odd that you sort of thought... I mean, I'm, I'm sure Prince Charles has got a large garden, but I don't think that would constitute being too far from civilization <laughs> to find a proper loo. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a dirty little liar. So your team captain, David, you're going to have to make you, a decision. You think, you're going to have to override you one of you. tell the truth. And you don't. I don't. I, I'm, I'm with you. I think, I think that's a lie. OK, they're saying it's a lie. What is the truth, John? The truth is, the story, it's true. Uh, <laughs> hey, nice line. There you are.